Hey guys, and for the next little segment, and probably one of the last little segments, glow starters. These engines, like diesel engines, have a little glow plug that runs in them. They need to be preheated before the engine is full started. So you have different types, different lengths, different everything for glow starters. I have three types here. Two of them are similar, but there's slight difference in them. The first one is the one that came stock with my truck. It's just a cheap plastic one. Dual D-cell batteries up here. The wire and then the actual engine part. You see in there is a spring that matches and made is, mates with the outer body and a little pin in the middle that touches the pin in the middle of the glow starter. This one's advantage, cheap. You can get the batteries pretty much anywhere. Disadvantage, it's heavy, it's cumbersome, it's sort of pain because it's two pieces. And then we come to these two. One disadvantage about these two is they do cost a bit more than uh, any other one. This one right here was about 29 bucks. This one I got with the truck. Uh, one advantage they have is they're rechargeable. I'll show you the battery that's in them. But the battery is replaceable in each of these. Just in case it does go, because all batteries, no matter how well you keep them, they do eventually die. And here's the battery. It's not a normal C cell battery. It's a rechargeable nickel cadmium battery. The difference between these two that I was talking about is length. The one that I bought for my truck was a long reach because I never knew what body I was going to put on. This one's a short reach since it's just fitting into the truck. Another neat feature that these things have is a gauge on top. It's give you a rough idea whether this thing is starting your glow plug or even the status of your glow plug. If your glow plug is not good and it's open, it will not show a reading on here. If it's completely solid, when you go push it down, you'll hear the needle go click all the way to the other side. If it's good, it will be sitting between the green and the red. The best is just keep it charged and you'll be fine. Uh, aside from that, I've never had any problems except with this one. Uh, was sitting in the truck at the time, but when the truck decided to take off because the throttle was sticking, it ended up crashing and bending this why, and that's why there's no spring. It also destroyed the aluminum up on top. So I was glad to get this one with the truck. It allows me to run them quite easily. This one is broken too, but I haven't figured out exactly what's wrong with it. I did redo the wiring in here. I checked this, but it just seems the pin in the middle is worn out. That's not making perfect contact. Anyways, guys, have a good one. If you have any questions about anything nitro, helicopters, RC, mechanical, you name it, just give me a shout and I'll let you know. Have a good one, guys.